April 12th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, a lot of things coming out of Fukushima. They've extended the maximum uh, evacuation area to 20 miles. Uh, there's a really disturbing report out by uh, Leak Spinner. I will, con I will attach his video below. Um, radiation levels are through the roof. Of course, everybody's on top of uh, the radiation spread across the United States and uh, different things that are going on right now. So I will definitely attach, as usual, a bunch of links and stuff below on the Fukushima incident and the ongoing situation. I think we're going to re I'm going to be reporting on this for a very long time. Earth changes. Scott.net tonight. I-29 closed indefinitely north of Fargo because of flooding. Oh, this is North Dakota, the upper Midwest. Uh, all that severe snowfall they had melted, and uh, that land's pretty flat. And uh, they're in for some major flooding, uh, which is not uncommon lately. Mm -hmm. uh, the Japan expands the nuclear evacuation zone as new quake hits. At a 6.6 official this morning, they're saying 7.1 on the European site. Uh, I just got off the USGS. There was another 6.1, according to the USGS, off the coast of Japan not too very long ago. So that makes two 6.0 or better today. Um, Japan on Monday expanded the evacuation zone around its crippled nuclear plant because of high levels of accumulated radiation that has been accumulating since the 11th of last month. As a strong aftershock rattled the area, one month after a quake, tsunami sparked the worst nuclear crisis since Chernobyl. And again, they've upgraded this to a level 7 event, so that is the biggest event they can put it up on. They might have to make a new chart for this, it's just that crazy. Uh, Italy, new eruption started at Italy's Etna. Uh, Etna has sprung back to life as April opens with a new eruption from the south East Crater Cone. Friday and Saturday, April 8th and 9th, the Italian volcano produced some ash and 3 kilometer lava flow, but then quieted. However, the seismicity underneath the volcano continued and late tonight into today, April 10th, Etna started producing small strombolian explosions from the southeast crater cone. And uh, so we have a volcano in Italy starting up. That's two of them, isn't it? There's one in Sicily, too. Uh, there's the earthquake aftershock in Japan, the 7.1 that they had this morning, or yesterday morning. Uh, they're saying uh, they got another story. Improvisation, frustration, March Japan's nuclear crisis at four weeks, no end in sight. And they're not really doing anything but pouring water on the damn thing. They're trying to fix it. Nothing. Uh, we got wildfires in Texas out of control. Destroys homes and buildings. Uh, wildfires scorched more than 230,000 acres in Texas on Sunday. Roaring through West Texas town, destroying an estimated 80 homes and buildings and critically injuring a firefighter. Um, they're in a severe drought situation. Um, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico. Um, definitely big fire hazard going on. And then over to the extinction protocol. <laughs> Feral flocks of chickens terrorize neighborhoods in New Orleans. Uh, so apparently a bunch of chickens are just breeding out of control down in New Orleans after the Katrina thing. Um, the population is down, of course. And uh, they're attacking pets and children, and um, the police are saying it takes too many, too many officers to try to catch one chicken. So uh, they're having chicken problems down there. And uh, global planetary tremors send seismometers into the black. Um, again, this is following the the earthquakes in Japan. They're saying um, that the crust is vibrating. Uh, we got a story, landslides and floods in Colombia, South America, leave six dead. 
Uh, landslides and floods have killed at least six people, injured four others, and hundreds have been evacuated in Colombia, officials said. Medellin and Antiquota have endured some of the most serious damage, Colombian reports. Uh, among these who died were da -da -da, destroyed by landslide. Uh, the government's still in process of providing aid and support for more than 3 million victims of the 2010 rating seasons, which caused problems throughout the nation. And South America is, is still having severe weather, just like the rest of us. Um, the twin earthquake story. And uh, they got a story on Yellowstone, the volcanic plume much larger than previously thought. Um, so they're saying the big caldera might be bigger than they're thinking about or what's feeding the caldera. And then the new eruption in Italy. Over to the watchers. Um, the only thing they really have going on today is um, new eruption reported at Etna Volcano in Italy. And um, the number of days of rain in Iberian Peninsula has increased since 1903. Um, this is just saying from 1903 to 2003. This study's a little old, isn't it? And this is in Spain, Portugal. Um, the first long term evaluation should change to rainfall over the Iberian Peninsula. The period caused of the study is 1903 to 2003, is the longest ever to date. The number of days of total rainfall in excess of 0.2 millimeters a day in light rainfall between 0.2 and 2.5 increased at most observatories across the peninsula, except for the west of the Portugal and the Gulf of Cadiz, where it is decreasing. So they're just pointing out the climate change in southern Europe, the Spain, the peninsula. And that is about it for the new stuff for today. Now, I know there's some major storms going down in um, Australia. They've got a Lando cane uh, happening in the southern part of the country. Uh, Weather or not was reporting on that. I will attach that video below. And if I find anything cool, of course, I will attach links and everything below. So uh, if you have anything for me, uh, attach your video or leave your comment. Until I see you again, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.